What's up everybody? Where do I even start with this video? I'm just gonna go raw, no script. First and foremost, I want to say I've never seen such a horrible case of bandwagon jumping with video games than I have with this game. The amount of YouTubers that are just jumping on the bandwagon saying this game sucks is crazy to me. And a lot of them, they're harping on the microtransactions. Be that as it may, microtransactions are microtransactions. I'm not saying they're good for gaming. They're definitely not. In fact, they can have negative effects on a game. This is common sense. But... In order to bitch about the microtransactions, I feel you need to tell me how they are affecting the game. I have almost 30 hours in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Almost 30 hours, people. The game is not grindy. Not near as bad as Assassin's Creed Origins was. Not one time have I felt the need to go look at the store to buy a microtransaction. Not a single time. The microtransactions in this game do not affect the game. It is not pay to win because in multiplayer your stats are completely and totally disabled. So if you bought some high powered weapon from the store, like some dumbass, it has no effect in multiplayer. So how is this game pay to win? It's If you're playing solo in campaign, what do you care if some other guy buy some high-powered weapon and uses it in his campaign gameplay. How does this affect your life? Now, some would argue the point that this paves the way for some dirtier things in the future and this and that. And you know what? That may be the case. And if that happens, guess what? We do just like we did for Star Wars Battlefront 2. It's that simple. The, the game, this game is outstanding. I'm going to tell you this right now. I've never seen a game focus so much. You know what? Let me take back focus. I've never seen a game improve so much in such a short amount of time when you compare it to that closed beta that I played. When I played that closed beta, there were several things that I didn't like. I didn't like the movement. There was a delay in the keys when I when I uh, would move on the keyboard. When I'd move forward on the keyboard, there was a delay. Didn't like it. It was very, very, very buggy. Falling through the map, picking people up. They're like 10 feet away from me, floating in the air, stuff like that. And over 30 hours, I haven't seen any of the, those issues. Now, I'm not saying that there hasn't been bugs. There have been, but they're marginal. Now, disclaimer. I'm playing on the PC. I have a Ryzen 2700X and a GeForce GTX 1070 card. I'm also playing on the PS4 Pro. I bought it on the Pro. And uh, yeah, it's definitely more buggy on the console. Uh, the pop-in. Like, for instance, I was playing a mission and I had to go stop a truck. And the truck didn't appear until I was about 5 feet in front of it. That is a problem, and I really think when you play this game, when you play it on PC, you see that this is just too much game for these consoles. And you'll be like, well, Assassin's Creed Origins played good on the console. Not on the Pro, it didn't. Because when I played it on the Pro, I would get these little load times when I'm running. I'd be running or on my horse, I'd get, boom, a quick little, almost like a buffering signal in the middle. My character would freeze and then it would continue again. These are massive games. Massive games and they're playing on garbage hardware. Plain and simple. Developers are pushing resolution over performance for God knows what reason, but that's where we're at. It's too much game for such inferior hardware. On the PC, marginal bugs. The movement is vastly improved. You still got the you still got the sluggish movement, but it looks more realistic. Looks much more realistic. They added in the little sound when you shoot somebody, that makes it better. I almost feel like the blood the blood splatter is better. It looks more realistic. It was like purple in the beta. Now it's red. Like a maroon color. You can shoot dead bodies. I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Now, on console, 
you cannot do this, sadly. I do not know why, probably because of the console resources, but that doesn't make sense because you can pick up bodies in the console version. So why you can't in the PC version, I don't know. I want to go to some points some people made. Some people made. I watched a video from Dreamcast guy talking about this game, and he talked about a mission where it was supposed to be an epic moment, and the, the AI was just uh, getting out of their car instead of chasing them and looking around for a threat. And I looked at his gameplay footage, and the gameplay footage was, in fact, reflecting this. This is my gameplay footage. This is what was happening with me. And I kept getting to a point where I'm crossing this uh, little mountain pass, and I keep getting sniped. And I'm playing with a keyboard and mouse, and you can see from my gameplay, I'm a lot better than these other guys playing the game, talking shit about it. A lot of the people talking shit about this game, they suck at the game. Look at their gameplay. It's like they've never played a video game before. Anyways, I cannot get it done. I can't snipe this guy. I get sniped. Boom. Dead. I try it again. I get sniped. Boom. Dead. It's like, damn it. You know, oh, for Dreamcast guy, it's too easy. He didn't get a scratch. He must just be this beast. Or he's playing on regular difficulty. People in this game, you got to up the difficulty. So anyways, my man Blaze4k joins the game. I'm telling him he's going to get sniped. Guess what? He gets sniped. He gets killed. So I devise a plan. I say, okay, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to take the I'm going to take the main vehicle. When I tell you, you're going to ride ahead. You're going to ride ahead and you are going to snipe this guy that keeps sniping me. So boom, my man rides ahead, he snipes him. I pass through, no problems. You see, it's moments like this that make this game super super special. I have had an absolute blast with this game, people. An absolute blast. There's another instance. You got to chopper a lady. You chopper with her and you got to destroy her equipment. And when you fly out to this spot, there are snipers. And I kept getting sniped right out of my chopper. So I ended up beating the mission. I ended up parking my chopper and going in and taking care of these people. Uh, on foot as opposed to in the chopper. I end up doing that. And then my man Blaze wants to go through the mission for his account. So I said, you know what? I'll do the mission again. So I told him what to expect. I told him about the snipers. I told him I'll cover them. So I took a second chopper. My man Blaze gets sniped out of his chopper. And on the way down, he self-revives himself. That's a perk for the medical class. He revives himself. He's able to recover before his helicopter crashes. So boom, he's back up, he's flying. His chopper goes down. I land. He gets in my chopper. His the the lady he's escorting, she gets in my chopper and we commence the mission. You know what I mean? It's like that that kind of crap What what are the games can you do this on? So in the game, we're up in the air, we're flying He's shooting down choppers while hanging off the railing. He's sitting on the side of the chopper, shooting down choppers with his machine gun. I'm blasting choppers out of the air in my helicopter. And all of this is done with absolute stunning graphics. ACG said this is a mixed bag. If you want to talk about facial animations, yes, a lot of the times the facial animations are poor. But... In the cutscenes, the actual cutscenes, the facial animations look good. Other than that, people, this is no mixed bag. This game looks spectacular. It looks phenomenal. It really, really does. It, it can't even be argued. I screenshot in this game constantly. I'll be in the middle of a gunfight. Middle of a gunfight, I turn, I'm, I'm kneeled down, taking fire. I see this just beautiful sunset on the horizon. I got to take a screenshot in the middle of a gunfight. The game looks that good. Let's talk about let's talk about uh, skill up. I watched a video from him. He says that the hub world was immersion breaking. It broke the immersion once there were other people in the hub world. People 
Hub worlds suck no matter what game you're playing in. And after, after the beginning of the game, you literally have to spend almost zero time in this hub world. It's not like the division where you got to keep going back, keep going back, keep going back. No, you can literally stay out of this hub world because that's what I do. The game spawns, boom, you're in a camp. The camp is as simple as just standing up and leaving. It's that simple. You're not locked into any jog animation. You can sprint your ass right out of that camp, unlike Red Dead, unlike The Division 2, and get back to doing what you want to do, which is destroy everybody and everything. So we tell, he, he says that it's immersion breaking because there's other people in the camp and his character is a 90 pound Asian female with white hair. Um, yeah, and the hub is what's immersion breaking to you. I got you. We're talking about a game where you create your own character. Anyways, let's talk about, let's talk about the AI. The AI people, I'm not going to damage control the AI. The AI can be very, very stupid. It really can. Especially on the missions where you have to defend a point. And they throw everybody at you. And they will come up the same set of steps to their own death. You're just dropping their boys in front of them. And that does happen. It does happen sometimes. But if you're playing on a hard difficulty and these people got... These people, the AI can kill you fast... It's not, it doesn't always play out like that. In fact, I've died many a times, and it's not because I suck, okay? Because at this game, I'm very, very good. And, and I, I'm, you know me, I, I won't brag about my skills, but in this game, I'm good. And I have died several times because the AI is so fast to kill you. And what's awesome is it's so fast to kill them. And that's what pretty much renders. The loot system irrelevant. We're going to get back to that. Back to the AI being poor. Let me tell you something. Sometimes the AI, they will throw everything, everything at you. So you got guys coming from the front, guys coming from the rear, a chopper up in the air, and then boom, they release drones. And these drones, they're very fast and they buzz around. So you're taking fire from everywhere. And this ain't the division. When you die, or it is fast to die, and you don't have time to sit back and heal yourself. You can heal yourself in the form of a stim pack, but when you take a critical injury, you can't do that. And you have to heal yourself by using the bandages. Let me tell you something. In the heat of a gunfight, when every single AI on that field is coming at you, people, that's a tense, tense experience. Now, these are the drone soldiers. These are the mindless, dumb soldiers. The wolves are different because they are much more precise and they can snipe you from across the map. They will literally see you from across the map and they will snipe you and it'll take away damn near all your power. They are much more effective. Now, that's not to say that they can't be killed very easily. They can and all it takes is the right tactics to do it. Which brings me back to the loot system. People, the loot system in this game is damn near a throwaway. Now, to some, it's going to look like a loot and shooter from the street. Looking at it from the street, having no idea what you're talking about. When you actually play the game, people, this is very simple. You equip your highest rated gun, highest rated piece of equipment, and you move on. If you get attached to a gun, collect the blueprint, get the blueprint, print it back out at the damn hub or in the shop at a camp. And you have the, the right level for that gun. And the weapon levels are damn near irrelevant, people. I was gear score 100. I went to a wolf camp, which was 150. Okay? And I annihilated these people. Because headshots matter. Headshots take one shot. If you got a heavily armored enemy, it takes two shots. One shot to knock the helmet off, another shot to send him into the next life. It's very, very simple. Well, well, uh, the behemoths, the behemoths are real strong, or the drones are real strong. You got these drones that roll around, and you need strong weapons for that. Or you can get creative and use your mines, or your C4, or your EMP grenades to disable them. Or, hell, I don't know, go into one of the many... Mounted machine guns in the camp 
and use that. Meaning you can actually use your brain and be resourceful instead of running to the store with your tail tucked between your legs to get an advantage on a couple of damn drones or robots. People, the, the, the misdirection, the lies, the exaggeration going out about this game is very, very disturbing. This game has been a blast for me. People, I'm 30 hours. I'm almost 30 hours. That's not counting. I'm 30 hours in the PC version. I'm like six or seven hours in the PS4 version. I've played the majority of this game solo on PC. Played, I've, I've played maybe about 25% with my man Blaze. On PS4, I've played almost all of it in co-op. People, it's so crazy how different this game gets when you're playing in co-op. It's, so di- it's such a different experience. It's like one mission turns out one way. Then when I replay it with a friend, it turns out completely different. It's so dynamic. It's so awesome. I can't say enough about the graphics. They improved the gun sounds. The AI has issues. It needs to be fixed. On console, it's very buggy. On PC, I have not encountered very many bugs. In third, in fact, I encountered way more bugs on Red Dead Redemption 2, and I love that game. The mission structure, the mission structure needs work. I'm not crazy about the mission structure. You'll go to a guy, or you'll equip a mission in your menu, then you go see somebody in the town, you gotta gather intel, then you gotta fly across the map to this other place, get some more intel, fly back across the map to another place, get some more intel, fly back across the map, talk to the person again, then go out and kill your target. That is annoying. It really is. But thankfully, when you fly around, you unlock camps and you can fast travel to every single camp that you've come across, that you've unlocked. And people, there are camps everywhere and fast traveling thankfully is a breeze and if you don't have your chopper simply go to a camp and spawn your chopper at the camp it takes five seconds no big deal the buffs and everything like that people they take no time at all if you want to activate some buffs uh eat a quick snack drink some water something like that and you get uh strength bumps Agility bumps, uh, accuracy buffs, you know, stuff like that. And I rarely ever even did this. I rarely went to the hub. I rarely played around at these camps. I played it the way I played Wildlands. If you liked Wildlands, you should love this game because it literally improves on everything. Well, we don't have our AI squad. What did they do? What what did your AI squad do? Sync shots? You can still do sync shots. You just use a drone for it. And they're patching those people in. Somebody said that the story doesn't make sense. The story doesn't make sense if you don't have a brain. The story absolutely makes sense. The voice acting is definitely mixed. Sometimes it's horrendous. But in the cutscenes, the actual cutscenes, not the gameplay scenes where you're talking in gameplay when it goes to a cutscene the voice acting is very very good three two five meters roger that three two five hold center send it targets down I don't know about contract work. Tell me that when you have two daughters headed to college. <laughs> now look at that. One unlucky fella still squirming. Misery loves company. There's an asshole hanging out the doorway trying to give him a hand. Hold center. Send it. <laughs> Target's down. Well, it's not very good, but it's good. You know what I mean? It's good, especially John Bernthal. Hell, even the character that I made, his voice actor is decent. It's good. I'm liking the story. It's nothing groundbreaking, but I'm liking it. I'm enjoying it. It's keeping me interested. I damn sure want to see what happens. I'm looking real forward to handing Shane his ass, and yet I have not beat it yet. I'm working now toward eliminating Shane. 
who is level 150. I'm, a, I'm level 130, and it doesn't matter because I'm going to hand him his ass. And when you fight a boss, people, it's one shot to the head. It's so satisfying. The game is so immersive. It feels super realistic. The movement feels realistic. The fact that you can move bodies, I can shoot dead bodies, I can do all of these things. I can do things that I couldn't do in Wildlands. Don't listen to the people if you enjoyed Wildlands. If the gameplay looks good to you, get the game. The microtransactions do not affect your gameplay experience. It was not built around it. I have not had to grind. I've done hardly any side missions. I've done zero faction missions. And I'm level 130 just by doing campaign missions and fooling around in co-op and stuff like that. But I don't believe I get XP for running missions I've already done solo. Like I played some missions with Blaze last night for his game. I didn't get any XP for that. Anyways... If the gameplay looks like shit to you, you're not going to like the game. It's that simple. But if you were looking at this game going, damn, man, this looks good. I, I, I want to play this. And then you watched a review from some white knight. Oh, microtransactions are bad, this and that. Don't let them turn you. Play the damn game, man. This is a solid, solid game. I have not beat the game yet, but I'm telling you, almost 30 hours. I think I got a grasp on if, I, if I'm going to like the game or not. People... This is a solid 8 out of 10. An 8 out of 10 game. The potential is a freaking 20. If they would have spent a little more time on this, fleshed out the characters a little more, made the facial animations better, improved the AI, and made the mission structure just a bit better, oh my gosh, this would have been the greatest game ever. And made the actual bullet damage where you're shooting somebody and blood's popping out, if they put actual holes there, people, this would be my favorite game of all time. As it stands now, it's a solid 8 out of 10. And it's by far the most fun I've had out of any game in 2019. Easily even God of War. What blasphemy just came out of your mouth? Oh my dear God. I meant Gears of War 5. Not God of War. Get the soap. Get this soap. Rinse my mouth out with soap. I, I'm telling you now, I'm, d I'm done. I'm done listening to reviewers, man. I didn't listen to them. I just, I just watched them to get an idea. I don't even want to get an idea no more. They're bought and paid for all of them. Let's jump on the bandwagon. Let, let's, let's uh, show how how white knightish we are. Let's show how much that we can, uh, how much we're against these these terrible practices when they don't even affect the game. If it affects the game, shit on it. Absolutely, I 100% agree. If it doesn't affect the game, then well, you better damn sure be telling the people that. And nobody, nobody said that. In fact, that Dreamcast guy, his whole video was nothing. It was, it was something else about the AI. But he focused so much on the microtransactions that I never even touched or had to touch or had no desire to touch. Well, that doesn't mean other people aren't, don't have a desire. To, well, that's their problem. That does not affect me. Micro, microtransactions are in every game. You better start boycotting everything. Red Dead had microtransactions. Red Dead 2, one of my favorite games of all time. Microtransactions. Well, they're not pay to win. Neither is Ghost Recon. That's all I got for you, people. Long-winded video. I had a lot to say. If you're interested in the game, get it. I will holler at you later. Yeah, I'm sure you survived that one, buddy. Dude, I see so much blood come out of there. I love this chopper, bro. I paid for it in the Ubi store. It's just a beast.